Montreal fans with a spring in their step as they arrive at the Big O after two wins to start the season, sitting top of the Eastern Conference, and today they face Toronto FC. Jay Martins has a goal and an assist to his credit so far this season. He'll be looking to open his account on home soil in support of Marco De Vaio, the front man playing up. Transition's going to be important as they support Hogan Ephraim and Robert Earnshaw plays up top on his own in Ryan Nelson's 4-4-1-1 formation. FC with the kickoff all in red, Montreal Impact in blue and black striped jerseys. A new third jersey for them this year to commemorate the first jersey they had when Montreal Impact started 20 years ago. Pulls it back for Davy Arnault and now inside for the influential Canadian midfielder Patrice Bernier. He looks out wide to Romero. Neat layoff for De Vaio and Vendick makes the save. Wonderful flowing move from Montreal Impact. But Joe Bendick was able to keep that one out. Montreal quickly back underway with the play here. Arnaud looking over the top towards Felipe, but OD will let that one run through to Vendick. Well, the role of Patrice Bernier is to switch the point of attack, gets the ball from the right, goes out to the left. A nice little layback from Romero, and Devaya with a good first-time strike palmed away by Joe Bendick. You know, robbed by Bostock, comes in here for Hogan, Ephraim, back post, and sure couldn't get there, cleared away by Montreal. Jeff Brodsky reading it well, and a vital intervention. That's good play from Toronto FC. Winning the ball back in the attacking half. Good work from Bostock to get away from the Apicino. His ball inside, and Ephraim takes a good first touch. Does the right thing here. He tries to shoot this across goal for Robert Earnshaw, but Jeff Brovsky does extremely well to get back and get a foot on that cross ball from Ephraim. Pops it up in the sky, and Troy Perkins is on hand to collect. Montreal's MVP in 2012. Bernier's ball in, and Romero is on side here. He goes down under the challenge from Ashton Morgan. The assistant referee is flagging, and the referee will point to the penalty spot. Ashton Morgan with the foul on Andreas Romero. That's a great cross-field ball. Romero takes a positive first touch forward and then cuts across the path of Ashton Morgan. And Morgan bundles into the back of Romero, and Romero goes down at the slightest contact. It's clever play from the Argentinian. He comes across. He wants to draw that contact from Ashton Morgan. There's not a lot, but there's enough to send Romero flying. He makes the most of it. And he beat Joe Bendick here at Olympic Stadium. Up steps Bernier and scores! Montreal Impact lead in their home opener against Toronto FC. Romero pulled down by Ashton Morgan. And Montreal take full advantage from the resulting penalty kick. Well, this is the foul that led to the penalty kick. Ashton Morgan, the culprit, as Romero cuts across him, draws the contact, and Patrice Bernier steps up. Palma Gillette just passes the ball to the bottom corner of the net. And the Montreal Impact in their home opener take the lead against Toronto FC. Up by a score, 1-0. for Felipe here. Neat play from Montreal around the edge of the area. Oh no! Intelligent ball through to the vial and Joe Bendit make the save. What a lovely play from Davy Arno to read the run of the vial and it almost paid off. What a clever ball from Davy Arno. He just reads the run of the vial in behind Danny Kalen. Bernier through for Davy Arno. Arno spots the run of Marco De Vaio, who is onside. Marco De Vaio! It is two! And the Italian is the man to double the impact's advantage in stoppage time at the end of the first half. Wonderful play from Montreal.
This goal comes from the Montreal Impact stretching the field and making it big from side to side and from front to back. And that creates space for Davy Arnault to get on the ball. And what a beautiful run and a fantastic ball from Davy Arnault. Marco De Vaio timed to perfection. A little outside of the boot flick. And De has got the calmness, the presence of mind to just round the keeper and then find the top corner. What a finish. A great move from the Montreal Impact. And that understanding we just talked about. But Ferrari had a two or three yard head start. Given away by Perkins. Now here's Reggie Lamb for Toronto on the edge of the area. Reggie Lamb squares it across. Went behind Earnshaw. All the way for Bostock. And that deflects back to Ephraim off the bar. It's a corner. Sloppy from the Montreal Impact at the back, far too casual trying to play out on the, the effort on goal. We saw a lot of examples of good pressure from Toronto FC in their last game. Here's Robert Earnshaw with a chance now for Toronto. Perkins makes the save. Perkins denying the reigning MLS player of the week. It's another corner. Here's the ball into O.D. who climbed high but couldn't keep the header down. Well, it's concerning for the Montreal Impact. You cannot give Robert Earnshaw this kind of time and space on the edge of the box to get the ball, get turned, and get a strike on goal. Both Kamara and Ferrari are standing off him, waiting for the other to go and attack the ball. Neither do, and Earnshaw pulls the trigger. Bio. But Terry Dunfield picks things up for Toronto. Dunfield plays it back for Hogan Ephraim. Ephraim tried to play the return ball and the referee gets a penalty for Toronto FC. Terry Dunfield fouled in the area. Up steps Earnshaw and he scores. Robert Earnshaw's somersault celebration brings jubilation to Toronto's travelling support. They are back in the game, it's 2-1. And just like Patrice Bernier in the first half for the Montreal Impact, Robert Earnshaw, calm as you like, just passes the ball into the bottom corner. Opposite side to Bernier, but the same result. Earnshaw's a goal scorer, his third goal in two games. Finds the back of the net and gives Toronto FC fans here in Montreal something to show. And we have played the four minutes of time added on. It is full time at Olympic Stadium. Three wins from three for Marco 